I hear the sound of a mighty rushing wind, and it's closer now than it's ever been. I can almost hear the trumpet as Gabriel sounds the call, and at the midnight cry, we'll be going home when Jesus steps Prophecies fulfilling and signs of the times that appearing everywhere. I can almost hear the fathers, he says, Son, go get your children. Cry. The bride of Christ shall rise when Jesus steps out on a cloud to call his children. The dead in Christ shall rise. again and then those that remain they will be quickly changed at the midnight cry when Jesus comes again Hello everybody and good morning and welcome to the morning service of the Pentecostal Holiness Church. <laughs> and we're late again. Late. Late again. Excuse, We've got, we got a really good excuse. Yes, but Lord, let me explain everyone. I'm David Griffiths, my wife Lindsay. The Lord's moving so powerfully. It is here. indeed. Amen. Uh, we're praising the Lord and we have two families locally who are really going through valleys we're not going mm. to name them but we are standing with them in the name of jesus yes, and we amen. know and know and know god has got word for both of these families one is in wigtown and the other is in garleston 
And God is moving on these families in the name of Jesus. Amen. They're going through real valleys of infirmity just now. And I shared with one of these families why with a little late in starting and then the computer crashed and had to restart it and all this <laughs> went on never mind it's been a it's great not, morning none of it matters <laughs> none of it matters god is moving and Super I mad, shared, Lindsay, two old time choruses and we trust it will help you how long how long Till I reach the end of this valley. How long, how long till I see the far distant shore? Although my dreams may endure for a night, the joy will come in the morning. So make the winds blow, the storms come and go. I'll make it no matter how long. The other one is a song you regularly sing. The God of the mountain is the God of the valley. Oh, yes. When things go wrong, he'll make it right. right. Mm. And then I shared about the psalmist. Paul, as David, we're talking of Paul as well. Like to me, Paul is the New Testament David who went through tremendous hard times and enjoyed great victory. Such as it is with though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. My rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Then surely goodness and mercy. And the dear lady member of this family I was speaking to said, Oh, I remember that chorus. And we used to sing it at Sunday school. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days all the days of my life surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days all the days of my life and i should dwell in the house of the lord for i forgot the next night I can't it remember. goes back to my childhood. Next Dearly goodness, mercy shall call me all the days, all, all the days, days of my life. life. You know, lovely. These old choruses had something, and they are so special. And I shared that look, if Christians come together confess their faults one to another then they're healed it's what the bible promises and that there's a difference between healing and miracles miracles are instantaneous we've witnessed these but we've also witnessed healings which can take a time i had five bouts of pneumonia over two to three month period and the key was the Lord coming to me with a word. The Bible says we have it on our scroll, which is beneath us. It's not there at the moment. It will come up in a moment. Attend to my words. They are life unto them that find them. them that find health. them health. To, to all, all their them. flesh. And we witness this. Mm. And we overcome spiritual attacks by the blood of the Lamb. And the word of our testimony. And we have many, many testimonies. And these special families who are suffering now. And if you will know of suffering families, we're praying, Lord Jesus. You know, the Bible says, Come unto me, all ye who are heavy laden. I will give you rest. Cast your cares upon him. He careth for you. We're praying for you as well as these two families mm. locally here. And we're just overwhelmed by this because we know God is moving and that men, women, and children are being drawn to the Savior at this time. Mm. These are special times and we give Jesus the praise. Thank you, Lindsay. Take your tissue with thee. <laughs> <laughs> Always the mark of Lindsay being about is a tissue. And of course, when revival comes, Kleenex or whatever supplier of tissue you use, their shares will go up because people cry. You know, the word of God, we can trust it. And as you see from our scroll, 
We say the yoke has been destroyed. You'll say, oh, but I've been to Isaiah 10, 27. It says it will be destroyed. Yes, that has now been fulfilled. That it might be fulfilled, says the word, that which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet. We're dealing today with how it has been fulfilled. I can't tell you how happy I am. Lindsay and I, we have challenges and yes. times of difficulty. But I have just been saying to her of late, Lindsay, I know I'm looking forward to August. This is our last Sunday meeting of July. I said, I'm looking forward to August. Mm. And we're having such a breakthrough in our domestic, that is the ministry we're operating from with on. Ours is an international ministry. We're going to see that breakthrough lately. But I'm coming to a point in August where for the last four or five years we've had a battle we had legal issues before coming to our new studio here in Whithorn, our new college here in Whithorn. We had so many extra legal costs. We then had a legal situation in South Wales, costing money, 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 spending out, spending out, spending out. And for the first time, domestically, not internationally, we're yet to see the breakthrough and that we're going to see it in the fulfillment of the mission house at Sri Lanka. I said, I'm going to balance the books in August. And if you can help with this by sending a tithe and offering, that will thrill us no end. But I know we're going to do it in August. And I said, despite of all the stuff which is going on all around, there's an excitement in my belly. Now listen, particularly in this time of lockdown and so many losing businesses we're going to see in great britain in many countries in the world the mother of all recessions look lindsay and i know what it's like we've been infiltrated by those working for the paramilitary forces in Ireland, that's when the troubles were on 30 odd years ago. From then, we'd been through battle after battle after battle, draining us of all our resources. We've had issues, we've had pneumonias to overcome, other issues too. We lost the baby at childhood, yeah. and Lindsay really went through that. She's so passionate to save the babies being aborted. Look, we know what it's like to go through the valley. But I can tell you, we've had affliction after affliction, attack after attack. But the Lord hath delivered us out of them all. And with these situations being shared with us, hence our late start today, we know when we read God's word, it shall come to pass in that day saith the prophecy through Isaiah, Isaiah 10, 27, that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder, his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Isaiah was looking to the day. He was looking to that moment in which the time had come where the yoke had been destroyed. Why? Because of the anointing. And we look at Acts 10, 38, and we start getting excited about this, that despite of what we're going through, despite of the battlegrounds, despite of what is coming against us, we can truly stand on that word today, knowing that word has been fulfilled through Jesus Christ and his anointing, going to the cross of Calvary, laying down upon that cross all our sin, all our iniquity, all our curse, all our sickness, all our infirmity, 
all our disease at the cross of Calvary. And we speak this out now to these two families we know locally here in Wigtown and Garleston, that in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, whether under the earth, upon the earth, above the earth, that we come against these two spirits of infirmity in the name above every other name, that at the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Every knee has to bow. If you believe it, say amen. amen. That God's glory should come upon these families and any family sitting around this YouTube channel today, whether it be live, the recorded version, whatever it may be, we know God's word is true. Can you say amen? amen. That that word, the word which God sent unto the children of Israel, Verse 36 of Acts 10. That word, the word, Isaiah looking to the day. Isaiah looking to the day that the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. That word, the word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. So he is Lord over all these attacks against the body of Christ. He is Lord of all. And we stand in his name today. In this name every other name has to bow. At this name every difficulty has to fall. The Bible says whosoever speak to the mountain. Be thou removed be cast into the sea. We speak to the mountains in Wigtown today. We speak to the mountains in Garlison today. That you shall not not prevail that his word shall prevail his word is the yoke has already been destroyed because of the anointing the word which God sent unto the children of Israel preaching peace by Jesus Christ he is Lord of all that word I say ye know which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism which John preached how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil but God was with him that word ye know the word coming through the prophet 1027 Isaiah the yoke shall be destroyed that word I say ye know published throughout all Judea that this prophecy look at Matthew 8 16 17 that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet the prophet that he himself took our sicknesses he himself took our disease he himself took our griefs he himself took our mountains of despair he himself took all that to the cross that word ye know that word in Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good Healing all oppressed of the devil. For God, yes, God was with him. Can you say amen today? That glory, that majesty, that power, that might, do dominion, that in Jesus' name we can declare it and believe that the yoke of bondage has been destroyed. And we're speaking it into Wigtown. Speaking it into Garleston today. That word ye know. Published throughout all Judea. And now throughout the whole world. That he himself. Took our sickness. And took our disease. And we read in Colossians 3. That we are to forbear one another. Forgive one another. Any man have a quarrel against any. Even as Christ forgave you. So also do ye, and above all these things, put on charity. Charity meaning agape love. 
the compassion, which is the bond of perfection. So we have this word in this context, the grasp from Colossians 3, so that the peace of God rule in our hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. I shared this morning before coming on this television program how the church needs to be a group of equals before God, forbearing one another, confessing faults one to another, that we may be healed, that we sit together, we stand together, we believe together, we have no secrets from one another, that we are not putting up fronts, that we are standing together. The Bible declares this to be forbearing one another. And then that same word Paul sent to Colossae at the beginning of chapter 3, if ye then be risen with Christ, oh yes, we have been risen. Not only do we go to the cross, not only do we lay down our sin, lay down our sickness, lay down our infirmity, lay down our disease at the cross, not only are we crucified with him, not only do we pick up our cross to follow him, prepared to go to the ends of the earth, prepared to die and lay down our lives as the martyrs did those years ago. We also are called to walk the heavenly places. For if we are baptized into him, we are also risen together with him. Ephesians 1 and 2. To walk the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above Buried with him, chapter 2, in baptism, wherein also we are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who have raised him from the dead. Isaiah looking to the day, the yoke shall be destroyed. My God, was it destroyed? And we see it here in the scriptures in which there is a declaration of the victory of the cross of Calvary. The Bible says, plotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. The yoke shall be destroyed. The evidence, the evidence, the yoke has been destroyed. Then comes the warning, and this I conclude. They're out there, those who will look to take you on the religious path rather than the anointed path of God. We'll conclude in 1 John 4 in just a few moments, but before that, a warning. The Bible declares clearly to not look at the outward appearance. The word through Paul to Colossae and to us today, let no man therefore judge you in meat or in drink or in respect of a holy day or of the new moon, all of the Sabbath days, a shadow of things to come, the body is is of Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into those which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and hands having nourishment ministered and knit together 
increaseth with the increase of God. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why as though living in the world are ye subject to ordinances, religious order, vain repetition, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using after the commandments and doctrines of men. You know, we are called as Christians to walk the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I come before you today, not as myself, but as of him. And we can walk these heavenly places in the anointing of God, in the glory of God, powerfully moved by the Spirit of God. And we know that we have been warned that the spirit of Antichrist, which would seek to lay us into a spiritual disorder, one which would have us say the repetition rather than moved by the Spirit and God's glory and God's power and God's anointing. What is the promise of God that we read and in this we conclude? Whosoever, 1 John 4, 15 and following, say whosoever, whosoever. shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God. That God dwelleth in him. He in God. Did not Jesus pray in John's Gospel 17 verse 21 that they be one as we are one or we be one as they are one to put it in its correct order? Absolutely. The prayer of God went forward that day, meaning his church, the branches to the vine, be one, free from the yoke of bondage, free from sickness, disease, infirmity, sin, and curse, that we be one as they are one. And we have known, 1 John 4, 16, and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. He that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Is God sick? Is God infirm? No. Hallelujah. And yes, as his children on earth, we have all been through times of the valley, as indeed the psalmist had been. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod, that's authority. My staff, they comfort me. Surely goodness and mercy. And isn't surely in the words of Isaiah, surely he hath borne our griefs. Surely he hath borne our sorrows. For makeup and coli in the Greek, meaning sickness and infirmity. As we read in Matthew 8, 16, 17, that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, that he himself took our sickness, took our disease. The same prophet prophesying, the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. And that word ye know, published now not only in Judea, but throughout the whole world, that he himself has destroyed the yoke of bondage. If only, Lindsay, come forward. We come to him and follow him. Lindsay's going to sing the well-known Dottie Rambo song, 
too much to gain to lose. And our dear friends are going through valleys mm. similar to what we have been through, in which the devil gives all kinds of information of despair. But I'm telling you this, that word ye know has been established in the heavens, that he himself took our sickness, disease, Amen. and infirmities. Amen by whose stripes we, we were healed, healed. 2,000 years ago. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful Savior. You remember that. Best express the four square gospel. That George Jeffries had that word from the Lord to found the Elam movement. And it was Jesus healer, Jesus Savior, Jesus, baptizer in the Holy Ghost, and Jesus is soon coming King. So he is our healer. He did it all for us 2,000 years ago. We just have to stand in faith. Because there's too much to gain, to lose. I'm coming, Lindsay. I'm coming. It's coming. And it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> It's Pra fine. Praise Don't worry. the Lord. Here it is. You Lovely let, song by let, Dr. Let, Ramble. Let me tell you this, and please grasp this tonight. We know the victory has already been won. Amen. Hallelujah. We know it. We believe it. We're standing on this for our friends in the name of Jesus. As you can stand on this for all you know and the entire world that we have trodden this path. And yes, there's been times when it's been difficult and problematical. Mm. And we just named two families, not named them, but told of them, who are going through the valley just now. And you might well be going through that valley, but choose Jesus that even though you may be going through a valley as the psalmist, that final verse has to come to pass, that surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of our lives. And once we choose this path, there's no turning back. We used to sing a chorus, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. There is too much to gain to lose and join with us in this wonderful Dottie Rambo. My God, did she go through it as a prophetess, mm. a psalmist. Lord Jesus, calling now you unto him, all oh, ye who are heavy laden, he's here to give you rest today. Too many miles behind me Too many trials are through Too many tears that help me to remember There's too much to gain Feet have walked through too many treasures are waiting over yonder, and there's too much to gain to lose. Oh. The heart burning desert. I was struggling the right road to choose. But somewhere up ahead, there's blue, clear water, and defeat is one way 
I never use Too many sunsets Lie behind the mountains Too many rivers My feet have walked through Too many treasures Are waiting over yonder there's too much to gain, to lose Too many treasures are waiting over yonder And there's too much to gain, to lose I know that song is special to us and it's speaking to our dear friends our dear friends who are going through it going through that hot burning desert today our friends in Wigton and Garliston be encouraged by that words of that song that there is too much to gain to lose Amen we love you and bless you Bye for now.